What's up, YouTube? SK Gaming here, bringing you week eight of the PEL. It's it's week eight, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, Kean's here. Uh, um, and uh, so yeah, guys, uh, I'm your coach of the Chesapeake Charizards, and we're going up against the Seattle Sea Kings again. Um, it is a quick turnaround between our battles, but that's just the way that the uh, uh, league randomizer thing that I use to uh, set up the league and everything uh, ended up putting it. So we're going to go with it. Um, we are going to go ahead and uh, find Tyler real quick. Um, I have not actually done that yet. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and send him the request. And uh, I can go ahead and go through our team real quick. Uh, this week we are bringing Mega Aggron again. Uh, we are bringing our choice specs. Modest Folius Special Attack and Speed Invested um, Azelf to deal with the uh, Milotic um, and also okay so we did not bring the Seismitoad which I actually kind of planned for this week I don't know why I really planned for that I kind of expect him to switch up his team a little bit that it, but he didn't um, so we see that he's bringing the Gardevoir which we're going to assume is his Mega uh, Landorus Therian Thunderous, Milotic, Jolteon, and Arcanine. So I feel like we have a decent chance of winning this. Um, we do see two Ice Weaknesses, uh, which is good because Agron has Avalanche. Um, and we also see a Steel Weakness, which is good because we do have Agron and he has a Mega Agron. So he's going to do a lot of work with Heavy, uh, heavy Slam. Um, so we obviously are going to lead Agron because that's what we do. He's going to lead Arcanine, predicting the Agron. That's... That's... That's fine because we're physically defensive um i i do think i'm gonna go ahead and use earthquake though actually i might just switch out here i might just switch out here because i really don't need i think i'm gonna switch into um azumarill because i don't really need him the only reason i brought azumarill really was for a uh, hydreigon which he did not bring and Azumarill is physically defensive and he resists. So I think that's what we're going to do. I think that's our play to make. He's going to Willow. That's fine because we do have the Lumberry. Uh, and I think we just go for an Aqua Jet here. Because I don't want to get burned again. He's obviously going to outspeed us. Uh, I think we just Aqua Jet here and try to get some damage off. And the next turn maybe Waterfall. Uh, if he has Wild Charge, that could be an issue. But I I think we can live it just because it won't, it won't be Stab. And we are physically defensive. We are fully... Uh, defense invested so we might be able to live it if not it's unfortunate but we will get off some damage with this aqua jet and uh, like I said I don't really need um, excuse me I don't really need Azumarill anymore uh, just because he doesn't bring he didn't bring the Hydreigon which is really the only reason I brought Azumarill I have other answers for Arcanine um, I just I didn't want Agron to be in there uh, get burned on top of an Intimidate and then take a Flare Blitz uh, next turn, so I just You know, he is gonna switch out. So this Thunderous is gonna take this Aqua Jet. He's gonna take it not that well actually. He's actually uh, So he is not physically defensive uh, That did a lot more than I thought it was going to which is good um, Do I now the question is do I want to just stay in I don't think I want to I think I'm going to switch out into Agron, predicting a Thunder Wave or a Toxic. He does go for Thunder Wave. Okay, so that was a good prediction on my part. I think now we Mega Evolve and we go for Avalanche. Uh, because no matter what, something's going to take an Avalanche from Mega Agron, uh, which the only thing that's not going to really you know, be bothered by that is Arcanine, which is fine. Because um, we'll just switch back out into Azumarill. Uh, we will get burned, but um, that's fine. We might actually switch out into Talonflame. I don't know. I don't want to over predict. I don't want him to go for wild charge and take out my Talonflame because Talonflame can actually put in some decent work against this team, especially against the uh, Jolteon and the Gardevoir. Um, so I don't want to over predict and have uh, Talonflame get taken down early. He is going to switch out. He's going to go back into the Arcanine. So this Arcanine is going to intimidate our Aggron, which is fine. Um, and we do get the full para. That kind of sucks. That kind of sucks a lot, actually. Um, we're actually going to go into Tentacruel uh, because I really don't mind if Tentacruel gets burned. Um, I don't know if Tentacruel can live a wild charge, but, uh, we're gonna go for it anyways. And then we'll Scald next turn if we live. He's gonna Flare Blitz, just straight up Flare Blitz, that's fine, he's only doing about 30%. Uh, we do have the Black Sludge, so that's good, and we just go for a Scald here, and 
Worst comes to worst, he switches into something, and we could potentially fish for a burn. Um, it'd be nice to get a burn off on the Milotic. It'd be nice to get a burn off on the Gardevoir. Um, I don't think he's... He, he, he would probably switch out into the Milotic here, and it would be really nice to get a burn. That would be really, really nice. But, um... Okay, so he's going to switch into the Thunderous. And that's fine. Um, I also don't care if this thing gets, uh... Paralyzed. He's gonna get straight for the Thunderbolt, but we are physically or especially defensive, so we eat that up. Uh, considering that's from a Thunderous. Um, I'm actually really happy with that. And we've already gotten our first kill, guys. We've already knocked out a Thunderous, which is good. We're doing, you know, this is starting off pretty well, if I do say so myself. Um He goes into Jolteon. I'm going to switch into Agron. Because as much as I... I really don't need Tentacruel that much. But... He's kind of my special defensive wall. Kind of, sort of. Kind of, sort of. Not really, but he kind of. Um, and I just feel like Agron... Can take something. He's going to go for the Volt Switch. That does a lot, actually. That does a lot. So... He is Life Lord. Okay, so that's why that did so much. I was going to say, that's, that did so much for a Volt Switch. Um... So we do see that Jolteon is life orbed. He's gonna go into Landorus. He's gonna get the Intimidate off again. That's unfortunate. Uh, we switch into Azumarill here. There's not much he can do to us. I guess he could Rock Slide. He's gonna Earthquake, and that's a crit, and that did a lot. Okay, so we're gonna go for Aqua Jet here, just because um, we're not gonna live another attack from this thing, and that does a lot too. Okay, and he takes us out with an Earthquake. That's fine. Um. I kind of want to go into Talonflame, but I kind of don't. I think we're going to go to Azelf. Max is out at 309. He could be Choice Scarf. He probably is Choice Scarf. So... My question is... Will a Brave Bird from Talonflame take out Landorus? Because I don't think he's gonna go for Earth. If he's if he's Choice Scarfed, he goes for Earthquake, and we have Levitate, so that's fine. Um, what is his switch into this? Do we click Energy? We are Choice Specs, Azelf. So we're gonna get locked into something. I think our best bet is to get locked into energy ball I'm gonna click energy ball he switches down to the Arcanine that's unfortunate but that's fine the intimidate is not gonna matter because we are especially uh, we are a special attacker not physical um, we have to let something drop here I think we let Tentacruel drop here, guys. He is going to Willow. He misses the Willow, which is fine. Uh, he's still going to outspeed us. We're just going to click Skull just on the off chance that we live. But I don't believe we live because I believe that we might actually live. I don't think Flare Blitz did 31%, I think. Flare Blitz did, Flare Blitz did 31%. So if, unless he gets a high roll or a crit... We could live this and take this Arcanine out if he chooses not to switch out. We actually outspeed him, which is surprising. He's a slow Arcanine. But that Scald does not do much. How much did that do? 36%. So we could knock out this Arcanine now. We have to get a high roll. But, you know, it's always a possibility, guys. We could always knock him out, which would be nice. It'd be nice to get this Arcanine out of the way. He's going to switch out. He's going to switch into my low tick. Can we get a burn? Can we get a burn? And we do not. We do not get that 30% burn chance. Uh, we're going to go Giga Drain here. We should outspeed this my low tick. I feel like we... We're 236 speed. We are going to outspeed him and get off some energy... Or get some health back with uh, Giga Drain. He's going to uh, gonna go for Ice Beam. I'm sorry, guys. I cannot talk. He's going to go for Ice Beam, predicting the switch. That's fine. We're going to go for Giga Drain again. Get off some more damage and get some health back. Um, I'm not sure what this Milota can do to me. He can Dragon Tail me. That's unfortunate. But we're going to go into Aggron. Um, uh, 
I guess we just heavy slam. Is that what we do here? Yeah, we heavy slam. He's going to switch out into Arcanine. We might still knock out this Arcanine. We don't. That. And he's got the Rocky Helmet. We do see the Rocky Helmet on the Arcanine. Uh, we can't switch out because something will drop. So I think we just click Earthquake. He's going to go for Morning Sun. Can we take out... We get the full para. Are you kidding me? I don't think that would have taken him out. Just because we are uh, intimidated. But we do live the Flare Blitz. And the Earthquake takes him down to 13%. Is he going to go for Morning Sun here? Just knowing that he can take me out next turn. Or is he just going to go for Flare Blitz? Find out this episode of Dragon Ball Z. He's going to switch out into the Milotic. We're going to get fully paralyzed again. I think we set up Stealth Rocks here. He's going to go straight for the Scald. That's fine. Um, uh, we're going to go into Azelf. No, oh, are we? Oh, I have no answers for this, my low tick. Especially now with that, Ar with that Arcanine still in there, it just... Mm. Okay, uh, we go into Azelf, and we click Thunderbolt. Because we revealed Energy Ball, so he will not switch into Landorus, uh, expecting the Energy Ball. But instead, we will Thunderbolt in case he switches in the Arcanine. And uh, we can still maybe get off some decent damage, because we are choice specs. He stays in with the Milotic. Okay. Okay. So his Milotic is really low now. Is he going to let Milotic drop here, though? Oh, if he has Volt Absorb Jolteon, he does, probably. He does. That's unfortunate, because we're locked into that now. And now we have to let something drop. And we're probably going to let Tentacruel drop. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to let Tentacruel drop. He's going to Signal Beam. We actually resist that. And even though it was a crit, we might live this burn. But we're not going to live... Uh, yeah, there's no chance for us to outspeed him. He maxed out 394. Uh, we'll just go for Scald anyways, just in case he uh, switches out for some reason, or uh, something misses, or he goes for a recovery attack or something. Just in case, we click Scald. Scald's the best move in the game. We go for Scald. We go for Scald. I don't know what he's thinking about. He's going to Volt Switch. That's fine. So we see that... He, we've already seen that he's Life Orb. That's right. I forgot about that. He gets Switch, in it, switch Initiative, which is fine because we get to see what he goes out into. He's going to go out into my Low Tick. We go out into Brave Bird. Or, not Brave Bird. We go out into Talon, Talonflame and we're going to Brave Bird. Uh, just to take down this Milotic. So there's Milo the Milotic's gone. Um, I'm guessing his switch in here is Arcanine. Jolteon. I think we can take down Jolteon. Yeah, there's no way we don't take down the Jolteon. There is a way we take down the Jolteon. Okay. And he's going to Thunder Wave us. That's fine because we have priority. That was actually a really bad move on his part because Flare Blitz doesn't do anything to his team. And I have priority with... Oh, he gets the full para. Oh, that mattered so much. Oh, the hacks. Oh, that mattered so much, guys. Oh, my God, that mattered so much. Mm, that mattered so much. Okay, we're going to Shadow Ball here.
that mattered so much. That mattered so much. Okay, so we're just gonna knock off. We are especially defensive. He does get the par Are you kidding me? He gets the paralysis! And we get fully paralyzed! It didn't matter because it's put Jolteon. Oh my god, and he gets the intimidate off. Oh my goodness. Everything that could go wrong is going wrong. And we get fully paralyzed again! Are you kidding me? What is this? What is this? Are you kidding me? That was that was garbage. That was dirty water garbage. All right, well this is why we play three battles, guys, because because of stuff like that. That was garbage. Are you kidding me? I'm actually I'm texting him right now. I'm just LOL at your shitty hacks. Oh, I said his your shitty hacks. I just said mine. I'm so mad. That was such garbage. All right, guys, so we are 0 and 1 for this battle, but uh, it is best out of three, as you guys probably know from now. And if you're new uh, and you don't know, it is best two out of three. Um, just because, partially because um, these battles tend to go faster than uh, Wi Fi battles for some reason. I don't know why that is. They just seem to go. Um, they just seem to go faster than when we're playing Wi-Fi. Um, but yeah, we wanted that because it uh, lasted a little longer. It made it to where if you do have a battle like this, it doesn't uh, wreck you. You know, you, you have a chance to come back. Um, and it just it made it more fun. It made it to where if we're only doing one battle a week, we're getting the most out of it. And it's not just uh, one and done. And then, you know, next week, you have to, you have to wait until next week. Um, so I don't know why he's taking so long to uh, accept this challenge. You ready for the second battle? Yeah, I don't know why he's taking so long to uh, accept this challenge. But yeah, guys, uh, we're just going to brush that off. We're going to brush off all that parrot hacks and uh, no black magic on this second game. No black magic at all. I'm actually going to predict his um, Arcanine lead, and I'm going to lead uh, Tentacruel. I just what? What was that? Tentacruel. Oh. He leads Jolteon. Okay, that sucks. I predicted the crap out of me. Uh. Mm, mm. Uh, we switch into Agron here? Question mark. No. Does rock resist electric? I'm like 95% sure that's a thing. We switch into Agron here. That did 85%! What? Oh, we messed up. And by we, I mean me. <laughs> Oh, 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 booty. Oh. Oh, man. Choice, not choice. Life Orb Jolteon for Ubers, guys. Life Orb Jolteon for Ubers. Uh, I guess we switch out in Tentacruel. And uh, we eat that Volt Switch not well at all. Uh, Jolteon. I, I, you know, when I was looking at his team, I was like, Jolteon. We, we got Jolteon. That's fine. I got Aggron. I got... Uh, a lot of specially defensive Pokemon. Um, Talonflame can take him out. You know, like, we're good. We're, we've got this. And he is actually uh, proceeding to uh, run the hardest of trains on my team. Uh, so he's going to go out into Thunderous. Good lord. We just go into Machamp here, and I guess we uh, Ice Punch. I'm going to go for Psychic. We're going to actually live that, which actually surprises me. We are able to take down the Thunderous in one hit, which is nice. I don't think we can live anything else, though. That's the only issue I have with Machamp, is his defenses are some booty. He can put in work, but he's so slow, and he's just... He can't take a hit. 
Um, I think we have to let Agron drop here. Because Agron's not going to be able to live anything from anybody. Um, and I need my champ now because Agron didn't put in enough work. So I have no answers for that Landorus. So we switch into Agron here. He drops to a Thunderbolt. Um. Dun, 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 dun. Mm. I don't know if Azelf can live a signal beam. I know he couldn't live one earlier, but that was because it was like 41%. I don't know if he could live one at full health, but I honestly, there's nothing I can do, do to him with Azelf. So... Oh man. Oh man. Oh how we have fallen. <laughs> Ooh. Alright, so here's what we have to do, guys. We have to go into Azumarill. We have to Aqua Jet. If he stays in with Jolteon, he might not stay in with Jolteon. If he stays in with Jolteon, that did a lot. Uh, he's gonna Thunder Wave me, that's fine. We have Lumberry. We're good. Uh, we Aqua Jet one more time. If he switches out, that kind of sucks. Uh, but he is going to switch out into my low tick. Uh, we can get a Toxic off on this thing. I believe we're running Toxic. We are. We can get a Toxic off on this thing. He's going to go for Scald. That's fine. He is going to snag the burn on the first Scald. His hacks are next level. This is some next level shit right here, guys. I don't understand what the hell is going on. Like, what? What did I do to anger the the hacks gods? I guess I'll just go for a play rough, you know. Considering there's like nothing else we can do to this thing, uh, we have to let Azumarill drop now because Azumarill is basically useless. Um, nothing he can he nothing he can do to anybody, and we're probably gonna die to burn to this this turn too. We're not even doing. We're we're almost doing. Lefty's damage. I think we're doing a little more than Lefty's damage. So, Toxic is doing more. Toxic is doing more than than we are to this Milotic. Uh, man, I definitely. He's gonna recover. That really sucks. We live on one. We live on one, so we can get off another player off. He's probably gonna recover here. Just because he knows I'm going to uh, die this turn. He's going to go for another recover. Man, I hate my low tick. I hate it so much. We do we do get the attack drop. Uh, which is fine because my low tick is a special attacker. Can we outspeed my low tick with Machamp? I think we can. We, we can't. Our max speed is his lowest. We go into Azelf. And we click Shadow Ball. We click Shadow Ball simply because if he has, or if he sends out Jolteon, we shaft ourselves. Uh, Shadow Ball could do a, a decent amount to Arcanine, and if he switches out into Landorus, we shaft ourselves. So we switch. We use Shadow Ball. He switches out into Arcanine. That's fine. Shadow Ball does about 35%. We do get the Sped F drop, which is good. Uh, we're going to go for Shadow Ball again. Um... I'm actually not sure what this Arcanine can do to us. Extreme speed's doing about 34%. Uh, we can live another extreme speed easily, and we just go for Shadow Ball again. Uh, there's nothing that really wants to switch in and take this, except for maybe my low tick. Uh, I'm actually not sure how much this will do to Landorus. I feel like it'll do a decent amount, though. We are able to take out the Arcanine. That's a huge threat on his team. Finally gone. Finally, we get to drop Arcanine. Um, that special defense drop was huge. But granted, I don't really care about hacks right now because his hacks have been through the roof. Um, we just click Shadow Ball here. He's going to go for U turn. Um, I'm going to say he's Choice Scarf. He's going to go into Jolteon. Uh, we go into Talonflame here. And we Brave Bird. 
Nothing really wants to switch in on this Brave Bird. Uh, if he switches into my low tick, it might be a two hit KO. He's not going to switch out. Uh, Jolteon is going to fall to the Brave Bird. Uh, really, our only issue now... Okay, Landorus. I completely forgot about Landorus. How could I forget about Landorus? Mm. Okay. Okay. Uh, we U-turn here. He's going to go for Stone Edge. He outspeeds us. I forgot that I said... I literally just said he was Choice Scarf. Oh, man. This is rough. We live a Stone Edge. Wow. Can we take out this Landorus? We can. Wow. I'm actually surprised we lived that. Yeah, go ahead and switch into my low tick. Um, bullet punch isn't going to kill, but let's see what dynamic punch does. Scald? Oh, I was kind of I was kind of hoping we could live that, actually. I was actually kind of hoping we could live that because I fully invested in special defense. All right, guys. So, unfortunately, we were not able to pick up a win this week, which puts us at... Four and four, I believe. I believe we are even now, which is unfortunate. It is unfortunate, but we are not going to let that get us down. We are not going to let that affect us for next week. Next week, I promise you guys, we will pick up a win. Um, I, you know, I goofed this week and I didn't put a lot of time into this team because I was busy and things came up and it is what it is. But, um, you know, he obviously uh, got a lot of hacks in that first game, but, you know, we ca you can't really control that. It's part of the game. It's just Pokemon. Um, he, you know, obviously, compared to last battle, put a lot more time into his team um, and played a lot better this time. So props to Tyler. Props to his team. Uh, you know, we, we played hard, guys. We played hard. Uh, we just, you know, didn't have it today. We didn't have the, uh, you know... The, the luck on our side we didn't have you know the battle going uh, for us but you know it is what it is guys and next week I promise we'll come back stronger um, and your Chesapeake Charizards will bounce back and we will be 5-4 and four next week I do promise you that guys but I'm going to get up out of here guys and I will see you guys next week have yourself a good day and I will see you guys next time <laughs>